When the pandemic hit, some businesses thrived while others died. If your core business is the cruise industry, you might figure you're sunk. But one local company found a way to make a quick pandemic pivot that kept them afloat. Wait, do you always have Krispy Kreme? Uh, not always. Sometimes they change it up. Source Toad is an admittedly nerdy software engineering company tucked away in a quaint North Tampa office mall. We took the team to uh, our top three locations and they picked this because it's just really nice out here. In addition to the serene environment outside and the catchy reptile themed color scheme inside, Source Toad offers its employees a lot of perks from free snacks and drinks to vintage video games. I like the colorful uh, decorations, the toys we have up on the on the bookcases the beer in the fridge. I mean, it's the kind of place I want to work. CEO Greg Ross Monroe started the company 13 years ago, growing it from a handful of employees to now nearly 50. But when COVID hit last year, his company, which centers around the cruise industry, hit some very rough waters. At first, it was very difficult. Um, we made, we, we did a lot of belt tightening. We made a lot of sacrifices and it wasn't easy uh, because uh, a pivot can only, even a small, agile company like us, we can only pivot so quickly. They had to find a way to offer their software services to other industries just to stay afloat. Fortunately, they had some small clients in the education and financial services space who needed to ramp up their businesses just as the cruise industry had come to a screeching halt. There was a moment where we, we didn't know if the, uh, the industry that we, you know, had made a name for ourselves in was ever really going to come back. And it, that was pretty scary. But thanks to a successful pandemic pivot, Source Toad is now branching out beyond their niche in the cruise industry. Pre-pandemic, we were probably 60 to 70% cruise, and we've probably flipped that now. In fact, Source Toad is bigger now than it was pre-pandemic. And a few years down the road, Ross Monroe hopes to grow his staff to nearly 100. I'm really, really grateful that we've been able to still all be here, that everyone's been healthy, that we've been able to stay in business that we've um, actually grown. I'm just very, very lucky and very grateful. You know, he only had to lay off two people and they weren't full-time employees. They were project people early on, but he grew that business and now they're expanding. So they're not known just as a cruise industry right. company, but you, they're, they're gonna broaden their marketing. You make that pivot in those tough times, it probably feels so helpless and so stressful. But now look, they got the cruises and they got the, the education You're like side. they have the new business and, now you got and the old business. Two realms, so you just doubled in. You know, and it, the, the old saying is, good things happen to good people, yeah. and just spending half a day there. You can figure that out, yeah. Felt like it. Very yeah. cool.